It's been a heck of a game so far. We're in the bottom of the ninth with two outs, an 0-2 count rest on Detroit. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off, chased a wide one. One and two is the count. Detroit's game-winning run sits on third after pulling off a play for the history books. A risky double steal. Nobody's been able to swipe a bag from this defensive powerhouse all season, but Detroit has cracked their code. The runner on third is taking a generous lead off the bag. The pitcher throws over. It's bobbled! Runner's making a break for home! It's gonna be close! He's... he's... Good evening. Francis? Am I, uh... Interrupting something, Jensen? How'd you know where to find me? I know you like to think you're off the grid these days, but I am the one who programmed your Infolink's GPL tracker. Back when I used to work for Sarif. We don't work for Sarif anymore, Francis. Be that as it may. And I distinctly remember telling you never to ping my location again. Except in an emergency. That's how I remember you saying it. A year ago? When the rest of the world thought you were dead and I helped you get out of Alaska. In fact, I seem to recall you adding, and I quote here, I really owe you one, Pritchard. I don't recall saying it quite like that. Well, it just so happens there's something in Prague that I need your help with. Tonight. Kind of busy. Investigating TF-29, I know. But if you help me with this, or even... I promise. Fine. What do you need? I've been hired to vet a company. A freelance job. Someone in Prague was helping me, but, uh... He's gone radio silent. <laughs> you mean he stopped taking your calls? I tracked the GPL signal on his phone to a bar named Zatopek. I don't know if he's alive or dead. He could have been robbed or decided to get drunk. The only thing I know for sure is that he is jeopardizing my assignment. Why do I get the feeling you're doing more than just vetting a company? He goes by the name Slaw. I need you to find out what happened to him. Send me the address of the bar. Sure, but... Try to tell you before you cut me off. You need to be careful. Zatopek Bar is in a pocket of Prague that doesn't take kindly to augmented people. An alley off Klimova Street. They're known to get violent there. Are you warning me because you're concerned for my well-being or because you need me for this job? Just watch yourself, Jensen. Dobrej. Co to jest? 
property bank? It is the palace of Yale. But they replaced them with chaos. After that shoot. I do not know, man. I do not have the money to put anything in here. We would get to go inside. Maybe even see your shoes. What is for the knobs? It is where America gets all of its gold. No. This doesn't look like a checkpoint, and you don't exactly look like a police officer. And you do not look like someone who is going to pull out a guitar to sing songs about peace and love. Papers, now! Look, civilian, I'm on official Interpol business. And I need to speak to someone in the bar, Zadabek. And I want to live in a world where all Hansers are dead. Looks like we are both going to have to wait for what we want. Now fuck off! This is an OG-free zone, and we will shoot any OG who enters, even the ones who claim to be working for Interpol. Tell your boss to send someone who is not a Hanser.
Conspiracy, you know. Exactly. It is hundreds of them. Excuse me. You have some set of balls, Clank. How the fuck did you get in here? This is how you greet all potential customers? You are not a customer. You are just a walking kitchen appliance. You might want to rethink that statement. I'm with Interpol, and I'm looking for someone who's a regular here. Interpol, huh? They giving your kind badges now? I have several regulars. Maybe you can be more specific. He goes by the name Slaw. Yeah, I know him. If he's still here, he's downstairs. After you're done, whatever business you have with him, get the fuck out.
I am watching that. Due to their involvement in an ongoing securities fraud investigation. Oh, you are in the wrong bar, Og. I'm looking for someone named Slaw. This be me. But I no do business with robots. I'm here on behalf of someone you know from Detroit. Gurva, he sent a robot. I tell him I no do job. He no listen. Here, take this and go. It's worthless now. It'd be flagged missing and no can be reprogrammed. It opened nothing now. Wait, wait a minute. Back up. What are you talking about? What is this? That is Palisade Passport. It'd be combination employee card and VPN key. It'd let your boss make remote connection to protected servers inside Palisade Blade. He needed a virtual private network key for a vetting job. Vetting? I don't know what this means. The job be more like heist of most secure corporate archiving bank in world. He bid me to go inside server room and make connections so he can look at files using passport. Yeah, I see. And how were you supposed to get inside the bank? I worked there. With clean passport, I go places inside. But if I go to wrong place, all the robots and guards come kill me. I don't want it to be die like Simona Saridakis. Who? She be first engineer killed inside. The blade make update to defense system and... Wait, he gated you to do job for him? Ha! If you are human, I try stop you. Blade is death trap and I care for human life. But, because you are dirty robot, I say go, do it, kill yourself. At the end of day, no one will care.
Look, I get it. You hate me and my kind. But I came here to find you, not get into a debate about what it means to be human. Let's finish up amicably and part ways. Amica what? You have passport. I must go back to work soon. Our business be finished. Go. Pritchard. I found Slaw. He backed out of... Your little bank heist. Heist? Jensen, you... You understand he's being dramatic, right? Nothing's being stolen. Did he... Give you anything? Yeah, something called a passport. I'll drop it in the mail for you. Don't, Jensen! This is a last Look. There's a Converse cafe being built in your area, near the shoreline. Get inside, activate their holographic system, and I'll explain it later. Go now. Get out. and never look back? Let's cut the small talk, Pritchard. What exactly have you gotten yourself into? It's not as bad as you think. My client, that freelance job that I told you about. Go on. You've heard of the Santo Group, haven't you? The European mega-corporation that built... The Utilec Complex, Prague's Ob Ghetto. 
Yeah, I've heard of them. Then you probably know they're building another complex for Augs at Oman. Only this one's a city, and it's being hailed as a desert paradise. I'm up on current events, Francis. Well, my client is considering a partnership with Sato. But before going all in, he wants to know two things. Is Rabia feasible? And is the mysterious group that you're trying to stop also involved with the plan? And the Illuminati? Thought that might grab your attention. To know for sure, though, I need to get a look at some digital files stored inside the Palisade Blade. On servers leased to Santo, Slaw and his passport were going to help me do it. Until he chickened out. So you see, Jensen, I really don't intend to steal anything. At least not on my own. You're right. This isn't a bank heist. It's corporate espionage. The kind of thing your client used to pay us to prevent. I never said David Sauron. You didn't have to. Fine. I'm sure Sauron would be willing to pay you too, if that's what you want. But I would have thought you'd do it on principle. You are the one who's obsessed with elites and their secrets. What's that supposed to mean? Just that the Palisade Blade is so full of them. Its owners are willing to kill to keep people out. I'm sure Slaw mentioned the defenses. He might have said something. The grounds and offices are patrolled by Tarvo security services. And wherever the human guards don't go, there are automated defenses. The best automated defenses money can buy. Anyone detected in an unauthorized zone risks getting killed on the spot, as several employees have discovered. Richard, your plans to infiltrate the Blade have been derailed. Your inside man dropped out. And the passport he stole for you is useless. It can't be reprogrammed. Slaw's knowledge of the hacking world is... limited. There's maybe 50 people out there who can reprogram it. I'm one of them, of course. Of course. But another one is much closer to you. A friend and fellow hacker who goes by the handle Shadow Child. She knows me as Nuclear Snake. Why do I feel like I'm in the middle of a bad screenplay you've written? Okay, look. I can tell you're still on the fence about this. Just bring Shadow Child the passport, and if you really don't want to go any further, I'll find somebody else. Please? Alright, fine. Give me her address. Apartment 3A at 33 Klimova. It's just minutes away from your current location. I already do. I'll let her know you're coming. But seriously, think about this opportunity, Jensen. Getting in the blade could result in the mother load of information on the people you are really after. We'll see.
Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Richard, I thought you told your friend I was coming. I did. Well, I'm in her apartment, but nobody seems to be home. That doesn't make any sense. I can see she's online right now. She has to be there somewhere. Keep looking. Lucky for you, Nuclear Snake told me you were coming. Though clearly you're much more skilled than he led me to believe. Clearly you left out a few details about you too. So... You need my help reprogramming something. Something that is supposed to be both time-sensitive and very exciting. Are you joking me? Take it, you know what this does. You're making a run for the blade? Nuclear Snake must be working for someone with really deep pockets. It's been flagged as missing. Can you reprogram the security codes? Can I reprogram it? There are only ten hackers in the world who can, and I'm two of them. This is going to 
going to take a few minutes. You can wait outside. Here you go. One healthy passport. You do realize this little thing is impossible to get a hold of outside of the blades. I would love to know how you did it. didn't take long to reprogram it. You sure it'll work? I've been coding since I was six, Mr. Jensen. I know what I'm doing. But, just to be sure, I tested it against the latest version of the Blade's keycard security program. It'll get you inside, all right. Deeper inside than just the front lobby, so long as no one working there spots you. Never said I was going in. Then why ask me to reprogram it? Look, I am not a casual hacker. It's my passion and my business. Hacking into the blades, well, that's a challenge no Ripper's been able to beat. Something tells me you and Nuclear Snake might finally do it. So why not let me help? You seem pretty eager. And judging by those camera feeds I saw on your monitors, a bit fixated on the blades. Why? Because information is power, Mr. Jensen. Governments, mega corporations, and the ultra rich know this better than anyone. Before the blades were built, people could force them to be transparent. Get a court order, file injunctions, and when all else failed, hire rippers like me to hack a server and release their secrets anonymously on the internet. Ripper? That's what we're calling hackers these days? A very skilled, very specialized kind of hacker. Regardless, fear of getting found out kept many a would-be power monger in check. Not anymore. Now, any company, politician, trillionaire or zillionaire with a vault in the blade sleeps comfortably, knowing Masaki Oshiro is protecting them. Tell me more about these specialized hackers of yours. What makes them different? You've heard of the neural subnet, NSN machines? I've had some experience with them. Rippers use a black market version to enter a 3D representation of a server's subnet cloud. We look for digital data there, download it, and leave before the server's defenses stop you. Kind of like a smash and grab robbery. No, Mr. Jensen, that's what dogs do. This is data extraction. Real rippers do it to expose the truth and keep the powers that be from exploiting the masses. While making a little money on the side. One must earn a living. It doesn't mean my heart isn't in the right place. Masaki Oshiro. This isn't the first time I've heard that name tonight. Of course it isn't. He's the Palisade Bank's CTO. 
he and his wife, Ashani Talwar, own the corporation. She runs it, and he designs and oversees all of its defenses, the bastard. Apparently you don't like him very much. I hate him. Because he's good at what he does? Because he's an arrogant little shit who's made himself look like a hero to the corporate world while secretly hiring assassins to take out reapers like me. A lot of people have died because of that man. So you're a hacker with a cause. Got it. I'm more than that. I saw the malware you hid on that passport. But malware, I didn't hide anything. Then whoever stole it for Nuclear Snake put it on a device for him. Either way, it's a fine piece of code. But it will only work if you actually get inside the server chamber and plug into it. I've studied the blade. I know a lot about its defenses. I can help. I don't doubt you can help, but just what did you have in mind? For starters, I know someone who works in the Blade's lobby. Palisade doesn't know it, but they have a Ripper named Baba Yaga 50 working the night shift. And you think he'd be willing to risk his job and jail time for something like this? Our cause is bigger than that, Mr. Jensen. You're trying to screw over the company that all Rippers hate. Getting you in there is a chance he'll take, but after that, you'd be on your own. Palisade has a strict no ogs policy. I want to know more about this malware you found. What's it do? Creates a temporary backdoor through the blade's lava wall. Far as I can tell, it will embed itself on a server as soon as you plug the passport in. Reapers have been trying to punch their way through that lava wall for years. But all this time, we've been looking for weaknesses from outside the system. Nuclear Snake's trying a different approach. You sure he wrote it? Like I said, it's a fine piece of code. I recognize his signature. But ask him yourself if you want to be sure. I'll keep that in mind, should I decide to go any further with this. Right now, it's best you assume that I won't. My lips are sealed. I know how dangerous this is, and I don't want to end up another one of Oshiro's tragic accidents. Meaning? Just do a little digging. You'll find out. Simona Saridakis, all the Rippers who died, the Palisade Bank will stop at nothing to protect its secrets. And until someone gets inside and uncovers the truth, they'll continue to get away with it. I need to get going. A mutual friend will be checking in any minute now. Say hi to Nukes for me. And, in case you do go in, maybe you could put this on Leona Rosolova's desk. She's the head of engineering inside the Blade. Her office is on the third floor. figurine. Why? It's personal. She's someone I used to know, but don't anymore. That figurine means something to both of us. Giving it back means something else. Can you do it? I'll take it, but I can't make any promises, since technically I'm not going in. Uh-huh. And now you should be on your way. I reprogrammed the passport in half the time it would have taken our mutual friend to do it. But, even so, he's not a patient guy. Be careful in there, Mr. Jensen. Some of those server chambers are equipped with next-gen heat sensors. They'll detect body heat even if your cloaking AUG is active. Who says I have a cloaking AUG? Who said you're going in? Call me, if you get into trouble. Richard, I found Shadow Child. She reprogrammed the passport. And? And I guess I'm doing this. It won't be easy, you know. It's a big facility with tons of server chambers. If you're thinking about exploring every one of them, looking for clues... You want my help or not? I'll reconnect when I'm inside the Blade. Jensen out.
sights. Hey, you! You don't look like you are from around here. You should know the truth about the Palisade Corporation. And yeah, what truth is that? The billionaires who own it killed my wife in there. Surely you have heard the name Simona Saridakis. Several times, actually. Good. The more you hear, the better. Because Palisade spent millions to bury the truth. There was no investigation of the crime scene. No real justice for my family. Simona worked there for years, and they called her a thief. Then they used her dead body to promote their security features. Why would Simona be inside the computer rooms? What was her job? She was a senior engineer. She worked on the defensive systems. So the traps that killed her, she would have known all them. Yes, exactly. She was working directly with Oshiro, helping him design security programs. He always gets credit for the lava wall, but much of it was her work too. So many years they worked together. Why would she steal? It makes no sense. I assume when you say the billionaires, you mean the Palisades founders. Why do you hold them responsible? On the day she died, Simona said she found something strange that involved her boss, Masaki Yoshiro. She wanted to tell me more, but I was upset. We'd had a fight, and I wasn't ready to listen. I told her to tell me after work, but she never came home. Did you tell the investigators what she said? I did! They ignored me. They said it's not related to the investigation. They said my wife was a thief. She was not a thief. I'm sorry you lost your wife, Mr. Saradakis. But you said there was no investigation after she died. Why not? Privacy laws make it illegal for the police to go inside the computer rooms. That's where those billionaires said she was killed. So all the police could do was examine Simona's workstation and emails, look at IntelliCam footage, and perform an autopsy. Not a lot to go on. What did the footage show? Nothing! They showed Simona walking down some corridors and entering a computer room. But it did not show what happened inside. They said the security systems only kill someone if they walk in forbidden zones. I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Saradakis, but unfortunately, I have to get going. I understand. Most people just ignore me, but you, you listen. I hope I changed your mind about the Palisade. It's not a wonder of the world. It is a symbol of how the rich and powerful get away with everything, including murder. The Palisade Blade is a great gun! You and I have a mutual friend, Shadow Child. She mentioned that you might be able to help me. I heard someone might come by, but how do I know that you are that someone? You could be anybody. Did this Shadow Child person mention a name or anything?
Baba Yaga 50. That is what I was looking for. Why, yes. I see that you have an appointment this evening. Allow me to deactivate the security gate for you. It will just take a second. So, what is your Reaper handle? It's classified. That is such a cool username. Classified. All right. You are good to go. Thanks. Good luck, classified. Extract the data, expose the truth.
Shadow Child's code appears to have worked, Pritchard. I'm inside the blade. Good. I was worried you might get sidetracked by some random civilian in need of a hero. I had several enticing offers, but I turned them all down just for you. Oh, goody. According to construction records, the servers are located at the top of the blade's funicular, in numbered chambers. We'll have to figure out which one is Santos. A place like this must have a client registry. If so, it would be in the CEO's office. She has an executive suite on the highest level of the atrium. I suggest you look there. Attention all Palisade employees. This is a reminder that the newly installed base for Tarmos Security... Robots are coming. 